Here's my dish that I've taken out of the backyard. And here's my reflective film. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm about to prep this surface. I'm going to sand it down a little bit. Uh, clean it off so that the uh, uh, adhesive film is going to stick. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to take my cues from Dan Rojas of Green Power Science. That's where I got the, the uh, idea from and also where I got the film from. Um, he was talking about all the different ways to make parabolic shapes and uh, I'm going to do it like he did it and make strips, cut little two inch strips rather than trying to make pie shapes or try to calculate out how to cut it I'm just going to cut some strips and, and have them overlap a little bit to get that uh, nice uh, uh, dish shape so I'm going to sand it and then we'll come back and I'll cut the strips and we'll show you how we to put it together you can tell I sanded it down and I sprayed it with a gloss flat black spray paint and now we're going to let it dry and while we're letting it dry we're going to cut our two inch strips so I couldn't find my two inch ruler so I'm using my level as a straight edge so I'm only doing one inch strips I thought about doing four inch strips and using the long end of the level but I thought that would be too much in case I had a mistake and crinkled the thing up. So all I'm doing is just scoring right down the end, just lining up the edge and running down with the razor. Okay, I put some tape on either end of the uh, strips there so I could pull it free. I got that once again, that's another thing I got from Rojas. And then I'm going to put this about at the center. And a little bit at a time. You gotta be real careful to smooth this thing out. You don't want any air pockets. If you make a mistake, it's a little forgiving. You can lift it back up. It's not really as sticky as I thought it would be. Because this is my first time. I really, to tell you the truth, didn't know what I to expect. Also, you can tell that I'm not the best painter because my spray paint isn't as smooth. 
as it probably should and once I put this reflective film on you can kind of tell it when you just look at it though you can't see all the imperfections but uh, for my reading it says that if you have a nice dark background it makes it more reflective and helps everything stick a little better and that would probably be true if I was good at painting and I made I went ahead and did the edges to make it a little uh, smoother because I'm going to run around it with another piece of tape when I'm done cut that off and I'm going to save that because I'm going to use it down here for the other ends okay I'm going to take another piece and I'm just going to overlap it a little bit and keep going give me two little pieces of tape put it on one piece put it on the other side when I peel it it takes off the back overlap it just a little and just repeat Okay, here is the proof of concept. Uh, don't really know how well this is going to work. My parabolic mirror, when I did the uh, spray paint, I didn't sand it between coats, and so it's a little bubbly, and the um, adhesive strip didn't stick on as well as I'd like. So I had to run some electrical tape around the edges to try to hold it down. So move up a little closer. Okay. So all I did was take a coat hanger and cut me a, a piece of scrap wood, stuck the coat hanger in there and just kind of wedged it in. Then I took a uh, old spaghetti jar, put a ball lid on there and cut a hole so I could put the coat hanger in there. And then I focused it to the sun, and on the inside I've just got some old burr comb that I just kinda wanna melt just to see what'll happen. When uh, Dan Rojas from uh, Green Power Science did this, it got hot enough to actually burn a piece of wood. Um, it'll burn your hand. <laughs> I couldn't get it to light wood, but it is uncomfortably hot. Some of that is because is of the, the weather. I don't have really just the hottest sun of the day. It's a little late in the afternoon. And because my solar mirror is kind of oblong instead of round, and so it tends to focus it in a, in a uh, not, not as a real tight point a tight focal point. So I'm going to let this sit on here for a little while and let it see if it'll melt the wax. It is melting a little bit but it's not uh, you know but it's not doing it really quick. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it won't catch my wax on fire. I've got a plan Fits my point of view I'm getting